just to let you guys know, I'm still on vacation, so I'm really sorry that I can't do it early burps. When I saw these outfits, I really wanted to do a quick video on it. I just wanted to go through the ruin suits really quick, so that would be DJ Edvina from the Overdrive Cycle. Then it would be Final Song, which is the lead singer Norin. And then it's Speed of Abyss, which is the drummer Lucid. And the thing with these ruin outfits is that I always loved the very transparent kind of, not neon, because I don't really like neon, but something about it is just really soft and nice. So if you looked at the overdrive cycle chat box of the cat above the actual cat it's this translucent color that i love a lot we actually don't really have many green stuff so the fact that we have a green outfit is really nice as for the other two even though they're really nice i there's just something about it that is just like meh because we've seen so many of these colors so this color of the beat of a bisque looks like Angika's dream it looks like the one from artificial idol and it looks like this one as well and kind of even this one if anything and if we look at the melody event so yeah it really looks like this one from demon lament and then tornado rhapsody it's just the same vibes going on and i guess this drummer is definitely cooler than thunderbeat so that's like an a plus for me but the fact that these outfits look really similar to i don't know they don't feel new enough the only one that looks really new would be overdrive cycle and even this one it kind of looks like a nurse and that might be what she's going for maybe but yeah she looks like a nurse and like you know a hot nurse regardless these ones are still really beautiful i love the pose of all of them and i really hope that the pose for edvina is actually i know it's overdrive cycle but i'll just call them the name i really hope that her pose is just the socks but it's really unlikely it's probably her pants if anything it might be her entire dress and pants but if it was just her socks, that would be so good because that would be a really versatile pose. So I think that Love Nikki has like this thing with cats. As, as I said before, everything's very cat oriented, and if it's not, then it would be cat and rabbit. And yeah, it would be cat. Because <laughs> it might be just Momo, but the fact that like everything is cat, I think they might know that little girls or like people. Or not girls, I guess. Just a lot of people like cat ears. Maybe this is why they do that. But here's a cat. Here's a rabbit. Here's a cat. Uh, I'll ignore that. That's not really a cat. Here's another cat. Rabbit. Cat. Let's let's say a tiger is a cat. And then dog. Cat. Another cat. Rabbit. Like, I, I don't really see any variations. If we had any other animals. But I guess there's no cute animals that they could really do. Because here's another rabbit. 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 Cat. Rabbit. Rabbit. Like, you guys get the point. Like, so many freaking cats. But, yeah, I think this is cute. I actually don't really like this outfit. There's something about it. Maybe the blonde hair doesn't work well. If it did white hair or this type of gray-green hair, I think it would look a lot better. Even the purple hair, since they have purple accents on the cat and on the shoes. That would be nice. And then for this one, it's really plain. Like, if you look at it carefully, the top and the bottoms is just meh. It's like overalls and a jacket that I probably won't ever use. We already have a microphone. That hat looks like something from the Melody event. The only thing that I really like is the tattoo on her thigh. But let's be honest, all of us never really use any short shorts. And the tattoo seems really high up there, so we might not even see it anyways. And as for this one, this is legit the same thing as the final song because the pants look very similar and then the corset isn't that nice. The cape it might be a little nice. If those are wings, then okay, I, I agree with that. Like, I really like it. And if the thunder comes with the beat of abyss, then that would be really nice. I just got the thunder from the stars event, which is this guy over here. It, it's nice, like... I'm glad we have a lot more suits. We barely had any ruin suits. Like, I could probably count... Wait, how many ruins do we had? So we have 13 ruin suits so far. So it's really nice that we have another three. Because we have a lot of Cloud, Lilith, and Apple. But what I would be really looking forward to is more North outfits. I know we just got Path of Glory recently. But if we have more uh, North outfits like Claire's Wish, then I'd be down for that. Regardless, I really like it. People are thinking that this event is going to be a pavlon. The instructions is that go back to the last performance, explore the ash tower, collect the taboo seal, and find out what's behind uh, the night of Starfall. Usually they say that we can um, exchange stuff for, like, exchange the taboo seal for certain parts of the outfit. So now people are thinking that we can't actually choose what we can collect and it might be a pavlon of some sort. I'm really hoping it's going to be a pavlon where we don't have double items. So that would be really nice. So if we have another kitsune little thing, I don't think I'll be participating in this event to the fullest extent. But hopefully, hopefully it's not a pavlon. Like, please no pavlon. 
That would be the worst. Oh, I hope it's not stamina either. Because imagine you had to collect taboo steel from the chapters and then you had to use the taboo steel to roll for stuff. That would be the worst. But yeah, thank you to Plushy for providing me these HD photos. I really like the concept of it. I just feel that it's kind of sad that ruined suits are... Mm, I can't... I just feel kind of sad that these ruined suits aren't as cute as they can be. Maybe like they'll do great individually and I'm just being a hater. But yeah, I hope you like it and I'll see you guys later. Mwah.